Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the bro with Advanced Custom Upholstery. And I'm sitting here, I got one of them kids Chinese knockoffs there that... Well, I just pulled the GY6 motor out of it. See if we can't put that on maybe the little go-kart that I got instead. Uh, it's way lighter. Maybe it'll make it go faster. Maybe it'll be fun. Um, this thing, I got a Predator 212 that I'm going to put onto it. Convert the, uh, um, the reverse mechanism. I'm going to take this whole unit right here. This case, I'm going to chop whatever I need to fabricate so that I can put the 212 here instead of this 125 or 150 GY6, whatever it is. Um, I don't know if you guys can see those numbers really, but QMJ are the last three. And I guess that means it's a 150, even though it says 124 CM right there. But um, as you can see, this has got a crack on it here, here. So I don't want to use this. This flywheel piece was messed up, but as you can see, I'll try and get some light on here for you. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So it's barely turning, I'm turning that. And then you slide this a little hold on Depending on which way you slide this lever. Now it's locked in. Now it's going the opposite way. And I am still turning it the same way. And then as soon as it locks into place. So this unit right here still works. So I'm going to incorporate this somehow into my buggy. Like I said, whether I use this case or not, I don't know. Um, Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, back over here though. She has been disassembled. So. Got the tires right there, I'm gonna sand those down. Plus there's water inside of them. Um, the other ones are over there. Got some scrap metal, got my Walder ready. Got an 1100 GSXF 1100 that's uh, able to be the 1200 big bore kit. It's got the 1127 in it. So I'm going to pull the motor out of that, make a cross cart. But here's the Predator that I just got broken on the other day. The old 212 sitting there ready to get a couple upgrades. and thinking maybe of putting it in here I don't know I've got a couple of Arctic Cat motors this is a 580 EFI uh, I've also got a 550 EXT twin carbureted that I could use I've got a triple 96 ZRT that i need to do a little carb work to and see if we can get that one to start um uh yeah what else oh trail boss 250 four wheel drive that we're going to take and we are going to make ourselves a four wheel drive um little mini kids truck full interior full real body panels um mini monster truck type of deal but it's going to be legit like a truck it's 
going to have a frame and everything. And it's not going to be, you know, plastic panels using the Barbie cars and stuff like that. I'm sorry, that's cool, guys, but it's just not for me. I'm going to make this legit. It's going to be a miniaturized truck. And eventually you'll see another one of my RX-7s, um, which I might do this frame right here where it's rear-wheel drive. <coughs> I want to try and set it up as a miniature version of my RX-7. And if I could afford it, I'd love to put in like a little rotary motor. But um, yeah, those things are a little pricey. So right at the moment, unless I could get one donated donated once i uh build the car i don't see it happening so um but if you like this video uh like share subscribe um i've also got some other great stuff you know uh, i'm going to be building this kid's buggy right here that is my t uh honda foreman rubicon <coughs> There's my green sand rail frame that we're going to be putting, possibly. Uh, I don't know. I've got a GMC over there. Whether I'll rip it apart or whether I'll take the RX-7s, I don't know. Um, I got some of this steel beam here, some more of it there that I'm going to end up building myself a garage. Um, this is my car trailer. It's going to become a mobile shop. Um, I tore down a big chicken barn that was right here and we are going to end up building a new garage eventually for advanced custom upholstery so that's going to be really really cool but I don't really feel like getting my shoes all wet because we just got like two inches of rain last night and there went all our snow and here it is 40 something degrees in Maine <laughs> in the middle of January or the end of January excuse me but um, way out there on the left there's a <coughs> 255 formula dual six cylinder uh, inboard motors um, right beside that behind the little hydroplane is a 2001 Honda Civic that we are going to probably take the motor out of that and either put it in the sand rail or the hydroplane i'm not sure yet next to that i got two of the five jet skis that i just bought um next to that on the far right i've got my little small boat that came with the house um and then in the front like i said the two prizes boom boom i've got the motor pulled out of the one on the left already I'm getting ready to pull the motor out of the one in the right. They're both going to get rebuilds. One's going to go street. One's going to go track. So one will be limited to 600 horsepower so I can still drive it in Maine. And the other one, we're going to go for the sky, you know. And uh, yeah, there's my carport. There's going to be another one right here. Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, I got a dirt bike, 2000 CR 125R that I'm going to be rebuilding. Um, yeah, so if you guys you know, want to see some more of this stuff, maybe uh, help me eventually build my little, uh, I got a stove over there. I'm going to build a rocket stove so that I can possibly maybe get some heat in here because uh, right now, Whoa, look at that. We are whopping 40 degrees today with 72% humidity. <laughs> but normally it's uh, 30 or below. Um, and it makes it really hard for me to work with my finger because I got a really bad cut on it all the way down to the bone. Did a bunch of nerve damage, blah, blah, blah. Needless to say, it gets too cold and I can't even work. So um, a lot of times you'll see me... Uh, I might have like a little finger <laughs> sleeve over it and that's why it's because it's so cold that it's painful to work so um until the next video uh i don't know whether this beast is going to be sitting here or if i'll try and drag it down into my basement where it's you know closer to like 65 or so because <clears throat> i actually have heat down there um 
but it does look like it's going to fit down through my basement stairs so i'm going to cut it there um hopefully you guys like this and uh yeah um just so you know what type of stuff i get into um you know i got my snowblower right here my carburetor to finish pulling apart later on my industrial sewing machine my table that has shrunk down at the moment because I've been moving stuff all around my house. Um, these are some panels that are going for the next carport. These ones actually have clear plastic inside of these. Um, some boat seats that I got to finish up. Uh, four wheeler seat that I got to do. Yeah, um, just tons and tons of stuff. So please, you know, like, share, subscribe tell everyone you know i'm gonna be having instructional videos on how to recover your snowmobile seats the interior of your car um uh, the interior of your boat top for your boat uh slip covers for your pontoon boat got those coming up um phew, god i can't even think of how much oh got a set of porsche seats upstairs that i'm going to be doing a complete uh work on um foam work and uh building up new seats custom stitched up so uh yeah stay tuned and till next time peace